Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Sneaker Style. This channel will be used by me and my friend Brandon to uh, cover all topics, sneakers, and style. Uh, today we'll be doing a review of the Yeezy Boost 750. I got these shoes at Nice Kicks SF in a raffle of about, there was about 50 pairs available and about 350 people showed up. So these shoes are, are pretty hard to get. They're uh, very, very hyped up because of the name Kanye. You know, you know Kanye West, the rapper. Uh, if you don't know, uh, take a look, look, look him up, and you'll you'll find out. It's it's easy to know. Um, so this colorway is the gray gum glow, and that's because they got a gray suede upper, a gum sole underneath. And the cool part about these shoes is this gray, gray uh, gum, the whole gum sole, glows in the dark. Um, these, these shoes come in multiple colorways. They come in all black, called pirate black. Uh, they also come in a white suede, I mean a gray suede with a white sole underneath. Uh, but really, the highlight of any Yeezy Boost shoe and any shoe by Adidas, well not any shoe by Adidas, but a lot of the shoes by Adidas, is this Boost sole. Uh, this Boost sole, was the, the material is an expanded poly, polyurethane. Uh, it is made by a chemical company called BASF and they called it Infinergy before it was trademarked as Boost by Adidas. Um, it's very lightweight. It's really cushiony, it's great for comfort, and honestly my favorite shoes that I own right now are Ultra Boosts. I wear them all the time. It helps, it helps like pain in your joints, your back, whatever. Uh, it, it's absolutely amazing and it's part of the reason that Adidas has become, been put bad out, back on the map as compared to Nike. Uh, but these shoes in particular are mostly, in my opinion, just hype. Um, the name Kanye West gets them to sell. Their retail price is $350, which I already think is kind of too much. But the resale price is where it gets ridiculous. These are selling for about $1,200 right now. Um, uh, I do love the soft suede on the shoe. Uh, it, it is very well made. The materials are really nice. Uh, but the look of its shoe, the look of the shoe itself, is not my favorite. I do like the strap. I'm a big fan of straps on any, any on any of my shoes, but I feel like this kind of looks like a high top moccasin. I, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the Easy Boost 750 itself, um, but they can look good with a few outfits, sweatpants, skinny jeans. We'll have some. Uh, uh, we'll cut off to show you some pictures of on foot. Um, but the way these shoes fit, they're about a half size big. So uh, if you're looking to get a, get a pair of yourself, say you're a size 10, go and help, help yourself out and get yourself a nine and a half. Um, they are not snug to your feet. There's a lot of wiggle room. Uh, when you're walking around, they are really stiff. So they, even though they have the boost technology, that will save a little bit of comfort, but they're not very flexible. And if you were to try running, no, that's just not a, bad, not a good idea at all. Um, they're definitely for looks, good for walking around like the mall, go shopping in them, whatever. Don't wear them, I mean, I guess if you want to, if you wanted to destroy a pair of shoes you spent that much money on, wear them in the dirt or whatever, uh, take them camping, whatever you want to do. I mean, they're, they're not shoe, they're really lifestyle shoes, so they're meant to be worn just with any, uh, worn on the street, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 a pretty big fan of other other Kanye shoes. Um, I would definitely buy these at three three hundred and fifty dollars over resale. But really, I think I'd save my money in general and get myself a couple other pairs of shoes that are half the price of even retail. Um, but if you do like Kanye West, you like a, you are a fan of these, uh, definitely go for it. They are very beautiful and nicely made. They open and zip. There's a there's a zipper to help you get them on. So a lot of people like to wear them like loose and out with. And so they're so even though the silhouette isn't so aesthetically pleasing, uh, it looks like more of just a loose, relaxed fit. Um, but yeah, so this is the Yeezy Boost 750.
please like and subscribe to this channel. Next week, look forward to a review of the Adidas NMD or the Adidas Ultra Boost. If you want to make any suggestions as to what shoes we should get for this channel and do reviews of, uh, leave them in the comments. And have a great day. Thanks.